all right guys i'm coming at y'all with a really quick video today i'm making corn pie cuckoo's cousin niece nephew whatever you want to call it so if you want to see how i get this done please stay tuned Alright, so first things first, I'm going to put some butter in my pot and allow the butter to melt. And I did use one whole medium onion and about five or six pimento peppers and I just minced them up. You guys know I love adobo. If you have seen my other videos, you know like this girl always using this thing. <laughs> I feel like it's the one-stop shop. It has so much different seasonings and stuff in there and it already has salt and stuff. So I'll just be tasting to see, you know, how I feel, how I like it. And it had enough salt for me, so I did not add any more salt. And plus I'm gonna be adding different cheeses that already contain salt, so I didn't wanna put too much um salt in there because you could always add salt but you cannot take out and I'm going to add my cornmeal in there bit by bit while the milk is still hot I'm gonna pour my cornmeal in. then you're going to pour one whole can of cream to corn the brand is not a big deal to me. The brand that I'm using here is Urban Meadow, but whatever brand cream corn you can find, it should work. It doesn't really matter. Well, to me at least, I just use whatever my hand touches and I'm like, yeah, you coming home with me. then a can of whole corn and I'm going to mix that up in there get everything together this is corn pie so lots of corn going on here today Then I'm gonna stir in my eggs. I got two whole eggs that I've beaten up. And you gotta be quick with your hands here because you do not want the eggs to scramble in the heat. And it will if you do not be quick here. So you gotta move your hands quick and incorporate the eggs in the mixture. Swift with your hands. You take this off the heat. Let's 
to know it's time to add our cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Yeah, shredded cheese by the brand Borden. Some beauty cheese. And here. And I also have some remainder from the triple blend. I'm going to add. to give it a nice little mix. This is still nice and hot, so yeah. So now I want to burr. I'm gonna just take a little bit of cheddar. Because I feel like I want some cheddar in there as well. Just a little bit of cheddar. Not too much. Just a little. Because we don't add a good bit of gouda in there, so I don't wanna um, overdo it. Now that that's done, I'm going to transfer my mixture to my baking pan and I'm going to spray it with um, my butter can spray. I'm just going to spray it to ensure that the pie does not stick. So I'm just going to pour that out in the pan. Then I'm going to grate some more of the mild cheddar cheese on top of my pie. And then I'm going to cover it and bake it at 350 for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Some of my cheese got stuck on the foil, but it's fine. It was still yummy and delicious. If you're not a cuckoo lover, this is a recipe, an alternative that you might really enjoy. So please let me know how it goes. You guys, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.